Last time, our group having finished up the shopping they were doing in Rexentrum, decided uh, it was time to head in for the evening and head back to their lodgings at the Camaruth Cottage uh, to get ready and uh, go have a meeting with uh, Dulan Tversky the next day to find out the details of their mission to go find and uh, possibly retrieve the missing Catherine Tr- Tversky. On their way into the Shimmer Ward, they were uh, stopped by some guards who didn't believe that a few members of the group uh, belonged in the Shimmer Ward. Uh, and uh, after a tense standoff, while well, they waited for uh, permission to be uh, located, uh, the... Uh, guards eventually gave in and let them through where they were able to go to the cottage and have a nice enough evening uh, with some food and drink. In the middle of the night, the group was awoken to the sound of breaking glass. They, it, they investigated only to discover that a brick had been thrown through the window and upon further investigation, uh, all kinds of graffiti depicting the group in various states of death, uh, along with the words Die, Crick, Die, were written along the side of the Camaruth Cottage. Deciding that this probably wasn't the best place to, sp- to spend the rest of the evening, uh, they decided to leave the Shimmer Ward, where uh, they were confronted with the soldiers who just simply watched them leave. Uh, It occurred to the group at this point that maybe these soldiers got exactly what they wanted. Uh, They certainly wouldn't have been able to win in a fight against our adventurers, uh, but they did want them gone, and so they got exactly what they wanted. The group then went and spent the rest of the evening at the Cobalt Soul Archive under the watch of Zilch and his brethren, uh, and then awoke in the morning uh, with uh, some of the group intending to go back to the Broken Bottle Alchemist shop, and the uh, Zilch and Eladir decided uh, they would be able to uh, looking as humans, go and have a meeting with Dulan Tversky on their own, where they found the details of the mission. They found that uh, they were to go to the island of Sudokoto, where Catherine was last seen, uh, by way of Palma Flora, and that a, a, ta- a Captain Thomas Morley would be the one that would be able to take them there. Uh, they also were able to get a magical, physical description of Catherine Diversky, uh, so they would know exactly who they were looking for. And uh, from there we pick up with the group ready to head to the Burning Bottle. And so the morning is yours. Uh, just a quick thing, did we ever, what, where did we land with mounts? You have not landed with mounts yet. Roger that. That was the plan, I believe. Yeah, I think we were going to go and then we were going to go find mounts or something. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah. Or something think, like that. I think probably uh, Zilch and Eladir will, uh, will probably catch up with you guys by the time you finish up at the Burning Bottle. And you All guys right. can decide what to do from there. Let's hide ho. Okay, so you guys uh, go back to the shop. Uh, the burning bottle. It's uh, early in the morning, probably around 9 a.m. at this point. You guys have had some food to eat, and uh, and uh, you walk into the shop, and uh, you see uh, Emmeline, uh, Zilch's uh, uh, friend uh, behind the counter, same place he was the day before. Oh, uh, oh, hi, hi there. Hey, um, hi. How are you guys doing this morning? I think we're doing all right. How how are you? How are you doing? I'm good. Um, Zil, Zilch not with you guys? No, I, I feel like he doesn't really like to hang out with us that much. 
Ah, I'm sure you're. I'm sure you're. I'm sure you're being crazy. Yeah, it's, he's he's a good guy. Yeah, no, he seems like it. I want to get to know him a little bit better, but you know, he's, he seems like he's a little bit of a hard guy to get to know, if you know what I mean. Yeah, he's oh. super personable. Yeah, like no, I mean, I've I've always friendly. I've always found him to be personal and personal. What is and your nice, secret? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I sell him smokes. I mean, okay, so yeah, uh, that's like one of the things that I wanted to talk to you about. I, I talked to you about this yesterday. Can you teach me how to make it so that like, I mean, like, I don't want to take your business away, but like, while we're on the road and maybe he runs out or something, maybe I can just like whip out that skill and, and maybe he'll, maybe he'll like be a little bit better. Um, we'll, we'll see. Um, we'll see. Listen, uh, so I talked to my uncle. Uh, he's, okay. he's actually super excited to, to help you with this. Uh, he's, he's here. He's, he's in the back. But um, so is, is Elch going to join you guys? Or? I mean, probably at some point. Do you need to see him for some reason? No, it's just. So, so listen, um, my uncle's a little bit different uh i don't really know you guys i know zilch i trust him listen if you're friends with him uh i'm, I'm sure you're cool but look um i think i'm cool <laughs> i mean yeah, you guys seem nice enough it's just i don't know you my my uncle's a little bit different and a lot of people give him a hard time and just 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 be cool okay define different um I, a lot of people just uh, don't really like how he behaves. They think he's weird. Oh, okay. So he's like, he's a good guy. We'll be fast friends. It's fine. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Here we go. Um, okay, technically you're not supposed to agree with that, but you know what? It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, uh, hey, 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 I'm Emmett. Damn it, those those people are here. Uh, and so he calls into the back, and uh, so so uh, the back door to the the shop opens up, and, and you see uh, see a man come through. He looks like he's probably uh, maybe in his his late thirties. He's uh, about five nine, uh, relatively slim, um, but uh, but he's got like a you can tell he's got like a little bit of a pot belly. Uh, he's got uh, straight blonde hair, kind of uh, off to the side. It's a little bit greasy. He's wearing, so he's wearing glasses. The glasses have uh, a bunch of different lenses that look like they maybe uh, turn in and out, so he can look up close or far away at things. Uh, and you see, he's wearing like a very heavy uh, leather apron with like metal uh, buckles and uh, rivets and, and stuff in it. And he comes out and, and he says, mm, 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 Hi, uh, mm, uh, mm, um, Emlyn mm, says, mm, mm, you need my, my help with something? Yeah! I, uh, I, I, I li I've been experimenting a little bit with, like, them, some explosives and stuff and I thought it would be really cool to be able to like put them down somewhere or throw them somewhere and then being able to like remotely have them go off so I don't have to you know be anywhere near it do, mm -hmm. do you think that that's possible? Mm -hmm. I, I've, I've never made something like that but that that that, that sounds fun I, mm, yeah yeah and he starts thinking and and you guys all notice that he's he's not making eye contact with any of you mm. uh and Evelyn says uh yeah yeah Emmett um he's really really good with that kind of stuff uh, chemicals tools uh, magic um em Emmett show him show, show him the bottle thing and uh, Emmett says mm, no mm, no they, they don't Mm, they don't want to see the no, mm, mm. no, 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 no. Show them, show them the thing. It's he does this thing. He, he did it. He's done it since I was a kid. It's it's hilarious. Come on, just just do it. Mm. 
Okay. So he he reaches into one of the pockets of uh, of his apron and he pulls out. Uh, it's it looks like a I would describe it as like a Swiss Army screwdriver. It's got all of these different parts that uh, that look like they twist and and pull out, and you see there's there's little screwdriver bits, there's uh, magnifying glasses, there are um, just bars that uh, some of them are are kind of slightly glowing, and you can maybe tell that there's some some runes on them. And he pulls it out, and he's twisting it around and pulling out and tucking in different parts. And then he he looks over and there's there's a little uh, clay bottle on uh, on on the counter. It's got a little wooden stopper on the top. And he uh, after he wiggles around with uh, with this screwdriver uh, for a little bit, he uh, he touches it to the bottle, and uh, you see a shimmer of light uh, go from the base of it down to the end. It happens for like a second, and then you see these seams start to form along the sides uh, of the bottle and then all of a sudden two little arms pop out (laughs) and then it kind of pops up a little bit and there's legs down below Uh, and then one of the arms grabs the uh, the bottle stopper and pulls it off kind of like a hat and it starts doing a little soft shoe right there on the table (laughs) <laughs> oh my god. I love that. That was the coolest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Can I have 16 of them? Mm, mm, you, mm, you, mm, you can have this one if you want. It'll it'll it'll, it'll dance when you want it to. Oh, <gasps> could I? Mm, 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 mm-hmm. I um I mm, I, I like to make these. Uh, and then uh, Emmeline says, uh, yeah, Emmett, uh, Emmett was, uh, was supposed to go to the, uh, the Solstice Academy. Um, everybody who's there make a history check. Uh, okay. I'm really good. I at got these. a six. Enchantment? Enchantment. Enchantment? Enchantment? Oh, yeah. Anybody get that reference? Yeah, Dragon Age. Dragon Age. Oh, yeah. Nailed no, it. Dragon, Dragon Dragon would, but of course. Enchantment. 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 That character was so endearing. I loved him. Focus up. History checks. I fail. And Nug, are you still there? Nug's having some uh, connection issues, I think. Oh, is he? Okay. I got a six. Just, just for the record. Yeah, six and a three, so you guys don't really know what the Solstice Academy da, da, is. Da, 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 da. Um, and then uh, Emmett says, mm, mm, they, mm, they, they don't mm, like the, mm, the way that I do magic. They, they think it, it, mm, it has to be done one way, but mm, there's, there's, there's mm, other ways to do magic with. Um, mm, tools and and stuff you can mm, do it different but they didn't like my way so I mm, do it by myself and I make things so they don't like anything delightful is that what you're saying because that was delightful they they don't they, they didn't like my magic well I like your magic it's Abbott right Mm, 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 yeah, yes, uh, uh, Emmett. Emmett, I'm Myrtle. Do you shake hands? Are you a handshaker? Mm, and he kind of like shies away a little bit, and uh, Emmett okay. says, "No, nah, he he doesn't really like like the." Can no. I can I insight check his uh him saying like they don't like his magic and that he just does it in his own weird way? Like, yeah, sure, okay, sure. Uh, mostly, I'm looking for like, is he doing evil shit or what the story is? Okay. Like that. Yeah, go go ahead and make an insight check. Yeah, yeah fifteen. Um, you get the impression that it's more like they've got their own idea about how magic works and how you should do it, and he does it in a different way. Uh, just like he uses different techniques to do magic than right. than what they do. Uh, and they kind of 
tried to teach him their way, and but it was their way or the his highway. Way. Was, they're, they're yeah, the exactly. Pricks. Yeah, well, more or less, yeah. 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 Anyways, you don't have to shake my hand. It's fine. I'll just give you a wave from afar. But I'm Myrtle. It's really nice to meet you. I think you're really cool. Mm, mm, thank, thank, thank you, Myrtle. Um, so you want to blow stuff up? And you kind of see, even though he's not making eye contact, his eyes kind of light up. And it when when his eyes light up, you guys kind of yeah. notice that this, this heavy leather apron that he's wearing actually kind of has some scorch marks on it. And I just like I I look at him, but not too intensely because I don't want to int- intimidate him. And just go more than anything in the entire world. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm-hmm. I I uh, th- th- mm, this sounds this, uh, this sounds like fun, right? <laughs> You should have seen, oh my god, I could tell you this one story about this guy that it was like wearing this giant mech suit, and I'd never really blown anything up before, and I had a whole bunch of black powder, and I just like put it all around him, and he was trying to kill us, and then it just went boom! It was the best feeling in the entire world. Mm. Shall we where, come back? Where, 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 where was, where was that? Um, it was back near where I'm from, um which I don't know why. <laughs> Hupperduke. Hupperduke. It was near Hupperduke. Oh, mm, oh. and he kind of, he, he looks at, uh, at Evelyn and he, and he does make eye contact with Evelyn. His eyes kind of light up and uh, Evelyn says, yeah, uh, Emmett's, uh, Emmett's uh, idol uh, lives in, in Hupperduke. Uh, he's, he's got this obsession with this guy's work. Uh, Tinkertop, I think his name is, right? Have I, have nope. I, I know I've hung out with like one of his relatives. Would I have known Tinker Top? Like, him yeah, you stuff? guys, you guys met Tinker Top, uh, and it was okay. his daughter was the one that oh, was yes. making the okay. smoke powder that, uh, that, that you copied. You copied okay. her little bombs and stuff. Yeah. Oh my God. I know him. <laughs> and, uh, his eyes are, are just like wide. He's like, mm, you, mm, you know, you, mm, you, you, you know Clef Tinkertop? Yeah, no, he's a really cool guy. Like, maybe one day, I mean, we're kind of busy right now. I got to get stuff done. But, like, what, maybe one day when we have time, maybe I could take you there and I could introduce you to him. Mm-hmm. Um, um, I mean, or He's kind of, like, it's speechless very- now. No, yeah. he's, like, he's looks, <laughs> he looks very excited. Like, like maybe a little too excited. Like, he, he doesn't quite know how to contain himself there. Mm-hmm. He'd probably but, uh, be really excited to be at you. Uh, uh, so, um, what, what, what um, can I help you make then? What What do you need um, to do? I, I just need to be able to, like, I don't know, like, if there's, like, if I could put it, like, a trigger on a rig or something. I don't know how it would work, but, like, I just want to be able to, like, put a bomb down or, like, toss a bomb and be able to control when it blows up, Goes boom. essentially. Mm. I don't know if it's possible, but I thought, you know, I'd like to try. Mm, I, I can I can make something like that, but mm, I've never made it before, so it, it'll take me some time. Uh, totally I fine. need I need to have one of anything you want to blow up. One of anything I want to blow up. Okay, so like, one of my bombs? Mm, if you want to blow up a bomb, I need one of that bomb. Or if you want to blow up mm, a bag of smoke powder, I need one of that smoke powder. Okay, okay. So basically, if you were to make this for me, you need to have one of each of the things that I'm going to be blowing up. Mm, yeah, yeah. Okay, so mm. I'm going to give you... A bag of black powder, and then also I'm gonna give you one of my hand bombs, one of my smoke bombs, and one of my demolition bombs. Does that sound mm-hmm. okay? Mm, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, M1 says, uh, "You just, uh, you just put them on the counter there. I'll grab them." Okay, sounds good. Mm, I'm gonna go make it now. And he like grabs up all the stuff in his arms and uh, and he starts heading to the back and uh, and uh, Emmeline calls after him and he says, Emmett, 
Emmett, use the blast room. Not there's chemicals in in just the back room. <laughs> Mm, but it's hot in the blast room. I'll use it in the. I'll do it in the back. No, em Emmett. Seriously, why did we get you that apron? Go to the blast room. Mm, I'll go to the blast room. And he goes off. Bye, Emmett. It was really nice to meet you. Mm, bye, you guys. It was nice to meet you. And he closes the door behind him. So, um, Emmelyn, uh is still standing there behind the counter and he's looking at you guys and he pauses for about two beats and then he turns around and grabs a bag and he uh, starts picking a couple of things off of the uh, the shelves and putting them in the bag and he says uh, uh, most people are assholes to him uh, I don't know why he's really cool uh, yeah, he is really cool. Uh, my my uncle Emmett is my best friend and the smartest guy I know. Uh, and everybody's an asshole to him, and you guys were not. So uh, this is for you. And he puts down a bag, uh, and it has uh, two healing potions, one greater healing potion, uh, and a couple of other vials that you're not quite sure what is in there. Uh, and then he reaches under the counter and grabs a book. And he says, this is the book that I use to learn how to make Zilch's smokes. Oh my Bo God. Thank the trick, you. It doesn't say it in the book. The trick is roll one end tight and the other end loose. That's how he likes them. You guys are okay. welcome here anytime. Oh, thank you. Do you wait? Um, but before we head off, um, do I need to? What kind of supplies do I need to pick up? When if I if I learn to make his stuff? I've, I've got enough to practice in uh, in the bag in there for you. <gasps> You're amazing. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Hey, thank you. That's going to keep him busy for like a week, uh, and he's going to be so friggin' happy. Um, yeah. Well, I, I'm just so happy that, you know, I, I didn't even think this could be done. So I'm really happy that I met somebody that could help me out with that. And I'm so excited to see what he does. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's he's a good guy. Uh, he knows what he's doing. It's going to be uh, it's going to be what you need. Well, well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This, this was great. We have some stuff to go do, but we'll we'll come back after. I mean, like I'm going to find my mom, so we'll come. We'll be back in a while. It'll no, probably be a bit. No problem. He'll. Uh, I'm sure he'll have it ready by the time you get back. Okay. Well, have a great day. Bye, Abbott. You don't hear anything from the back. That's totally fine. <laughs> they look like pretty thick doors. Yeah. And hopefully he's gone back to the blast room to work on it. It's another <laughs> room back. Fingers crossed. Yeah, fingers crossed. I guess you'll find it when you come back. Yeah, right? All right, well, sh should we find the others then? Yes, that was, uh, that was fun, I think. That was great. That, well, I, that, was way, that went way better than I expected it to. Yes, I, I would agree. And so I think um, Zilch and uh, and Eladir were, were probably supposed to meet you guys. You probably made plans to to meet up near nearby there somewhere afterwards. So uh, you guys could uh, could go locate Sven if you wanted and uh, make your way over to a, a meeting point in the Tangles. To, to that find, sounds good. To find the rest. Here I'll move this over to the Rex and Trim map. And then we could just, like, if we're going to get mounts, we go as a group. Yeah, you guys can, as a group, decide. So now that, because, I mean, uh, uh, realistically, uh, you don't know what the plan is, right? You, uh, uh, only Zilch and Eladir would know exactly the details of the... Oh, yeah. So you guys are just going to find that out now. Um, and I think uh, Nug... Uh, okay, he's having connection issues, so... We'll just deal with that for now. Nug, are you here? Okay. Uh, he says he's having connection issues. Okay. 
Let's get a message. Yeah, so uh, yeah, you guys can uh, can uh, meet up now uh, somewhere in the Tangles. Maybe uh, get a get a drink or some food or something while you're waiting for uh, Eladir and Zilch, and and they kind of show up where you guys are. Probably uh, Sven was having a drink and reading his books, and you guys all meet up there together, a little pub or something. Oh, hello, you guys. Hi. Have, you, uh, have you gotten everything you need for the day? Yeah, I think so. Mm, no, we need melts. Oh, yes. Uh, I think that would be something quite uh, critical. Uh, but aren't we taking a boat? Well, we're, uh, remind me again where, where we plan to head to. Oh, um, the, uh, uh, the, the lady said that um, we had to go to an island called Sinokodo. It's it's off the coast of Palmaflora up up north. Um, uh. So we need to get to Palmaflora some way and then maybe find um, a way to the island. We, we, Ichi told us this um, the a py- former pirate who was in contact with Catherine we may be able to find but and what's his name uh Thomas Morley he's a captain Captain Thomas Morley the captains need to have captain before their name sorry he's a captain you said he was a captain right yeah yeah uh, so, Grimdor, I'm going to get you to, and Sven as well, make a history check. Because uh, since they mentioned Palma okay. Flora. Oh, yes. Uh, uh, I suck bad at history checks. I know. <laughs> I should be mediocre. Oh, nice. Uh, 22. Uh, Grimdor, um, you feel like you should know that name. You really should, but uh, <laughs> you can't place it. Uh, but Sven... Um, in, in your time, uh, you actually know from uh, coming through from uh, f- through your way from Marquette over to Wildmount, uh, you would have come in uh, at uh, Port de Molly. It's the, the biggest uh, kind of port city and where most of the uh, sort of international ships would come into. Uh, and not too far from Port de Molly is Palmaflora. You would have uh, probably your, your ship could possibly even have uh, stopped at Palmaflora briefly to uh, to let people off. And you would know that it's, uh, people probably mentioned that it was kind of a vacation destination. It's on the uh, southern uh, tip of uh, a kind of a, uh, a part that juts out from the coast. Uh, and it's, think of it like a, like a Key West kind of place. Uh, where so, it's, uh, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, no, that's it, and it's okay. it's not really too far off from uh, Port de Molly on the other side of. So you guys are where you are. Port de Molly would be a little bit closer, and then and then Palma Flora is kind of jutting out from the Menagerie Coast. Right. So we will uh, we will need mounts to get down there now. Um, but uh, basically, Palma Flora, we're going to want to have a little more money uh, since it is a bit of a tourist spot so uh, things do get a little more expensive down there uh, from my experience but uh, for the most part we shouldn't run into any trouble uh, from going at least on the main roads going from uh, from Port Mali to, to Palma Flora but that's I, I, re- I re- recall my, my ship docked there very briefly and I I only kind of got out to stretch my legs but um, it's it's very touristy. Yes, I knew, I, uh, I knew that. I, I too knew that. Before we go to look for mounts, um, I should take all of you to go see a uh, superior of mine, um, Archivist Cathedoc. I, uh, let's just say we'll be able to, we'll only need a boat. And then just and just as Zilch is saying that and doing that, he he starts taking a drag of his cigarette, and then uh, you you notice him kind of pause and look, kind of look up into the air a little bit. And Zilch, could you pop over into the whispers chat with me? 
Whisper. Is that just uh, private? Is that just the private? Sorry. Yeah, there's two channel. chats there. Yeah, if you go over to Whispers. I don't know what Whispers is. Uh, uh, if you look at voice channels, there's the Roll20 audio chat, and then there's one below that that says Whispers. click the name, and it'll take you over there. Scroll down to the bottom. So Greenleaf Geek, guys, is an <laughs> uh, awesome spot that's local uh, online that you can go get all of your D&D dice needs. Chris, uh, I know Chris, a few of our players use over. certain ones. Oh, can I? Oh, okay. Yeah, he got there, though. But uh, they're local from our Peterborough area, and uh, they do a great job. So make sure you go and check out Greenleaf Geek on uh, all your socials. I know she's on Instagram uh, and Twitter as well. Oh, also, she made the famous key fish dice that uh, Marisha Ray used in Critical Role in the first campaign. And I think she still uses it in the second campaign. Oh, I did not realize where Power Flora was at all. It's like the other side of the continent. I was thinking it was like close by. Oh no, no, it's yeah. like it's down by the coast, man. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, yeah, we're just right over there. It's like <laughs> literally the other side. Whispers. I'm just picturing like. Um... Oh my god, my brain just died. I'm just picturing him looking up into the sky while he's smoking and Myrtle just like sidles up beside him and just like looks up and is just like blankly staring and trying to see what he's looking at. <laughs> okay, we're back. Yeah. So as um, Zilch is kind of looking up, he you'll hear him speak out loud and just say, tomorrow you say. All right. Well, as long as Cathedoc is supportive of this, We'll be there. Who is he talking to? And I'll kind of, I'll kind of snap to you and say, "Oh, I, I spoke out loud." Uh, right. Um, listen. Um, Wait, and then, and then you start hearing another a voice in your head again. Oh, pop back over. <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> this is so good. Whispers. For anybody watching that doesn't know what a whisper is, it is uh, a special message that the DM does not want the rest of us to hear while uh, the game is going on, as it has usually key information that might, uh, or just any information that the other members might not need to know. Uh, also referred to as metagaming if we did know it, and used it to our advantage later on in the story. We would never do that, though. Never do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, and I will say, I'll just kind of nod and say, "Salty Sea Dog, got it." All right, folks, listen, we gotta get to Port Tamale. We gotta be there tomorrow to meet with Captain Morley. He's going to be waiting for us at the Salty Sea Dog, and he'll be able to take us out tomorrow. Are you sure, you sure you didn't have like a stroke or something? Oh no, I, I, the, the, the spell that, the spell that I'm not familiar with, and I, the only way I know how to communicate back is by voicing it back. So uh, I apologize for the confusion. I was uh, emailing someone. <laughs> with your is that what you okay. call it? Is that the name of the spell? Uh, uh, that's that's my understanding of it. Yes. <laughs> so right. it's. It's very, it's very nice that we need to get there by tomorrow, but uh, I do believe it is quite far away. It's, it might be hard to get to uh, Port Tamari in, in that time, unless we have a, another means to get there. Well, Sven, why don't you just enjoy your drink, sit back, have some eats, and uh, I'll take care of that. We'll depart afterwards. Okay. Well... That sounds fine to me. I just will uh, trust whatever you're doing, because you're you, and <laughs> I like you. Uh, I'm, uh, yeah, thanks. Cool. All right. Let's, uh, let's get something to eat, and then we'll, we'll depart if you are all ready. Having, like, well, a little bit of me. blind faith. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Myrtle. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'll get up and I'll kind of sit next to Myrtle and be like, yeah, you just and I'll kind of pat her on the, the shoulder and the back and like, you just you just stay close to me. Are you sure you didn't have a stroke? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just uh, enjoy, have a drink, enjoy, eat, have some meats. They have good, they have good escargot here. Just Inside relax. check. Oh! <laughs> okay. Go ahead. I can't guarantee this is going to go well, but... Uh, Thirteen. Thirteen? Um, I mean, it, it seems awkward, but... Yeah, he just seems like he's awkward, but sincere enough. He's, he's saying more than two words in a sentence, and he's being inexplicably nice to me. It's, it's, it's freaking me out. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> not making it any wow. Okay. So you guys uh, have some lunch and uh, and presumably follow uh, follow Zilch. Is there anything else you guys would like to do here in the Tangles? Oh, so- hey, did we did we get any pay for? Like for going and doing this, did we get paid anything before? Yeah, we, I know we did, oh, but I'm just oh. I'm asking a character. Oh yes, we. Um, I, I look over at um, Eladir and I say, Eladir, uh, we were given, I believe, oh gold. Each. Oh yeah, uh, I just like pull out yeah. the sack and just like drop it yeah. on the table. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, uh, yeah, there's a um, hundred each. Um, up front. Um, she said we would get more on the return, but she didn't say how much, so... Uh, okay, well, does yeah. anybody mind if I take my share now, and then I just have to go quickly, can I, like, can you tell me where where we can meet, and I'll be, like, 20 minutes tops? I believe, uh, do we all want to just take our shares now, and then if we need to put yes, them I'm together in a group fund afterwards, yeah. we can? Yes. Murder, uh, Murder like company. Before. No, I'm good. I'm totally fine, and nobody needs to come with me. I just have to go and run a quick errand. Well, uh, Mertz, yeah. before you go, I need to settle a debt with you. I owe you, I believe, uh, fifty gold from uh, helping me purchase this ring here. Oh, you don't have to pay me back. It's totally fine. That was a gift. You see, I get visibly comfortable with that suggestion. I said, my voice cracks for the first time. Like, N- no, you. I'm paying you back, like, right fucking now, okay? And I, I take up the 50 gold, and I slam it down, and I push it over to you. Oh, I just oh okay. That's, okay, that's that's cool. I'll, I mean, like, I'll take it. I, it's fine. That's it's great. I think we'll... I think we'll take away at his armor. <laughs> was that a pun that we all missed? Yes. I can't I, I, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, no, I'm good. I just like I just gotta run an errand really quick. So like, where are you guys going so but, I can meet but, up with you but, in like like twenty minutes? But, but but Myrtle. What? This is not a safe town for someone like you. I need to go by myself. It's fine. It's Myrtle, fine. will you will you at least please change your appearance into uh, a local um, child or adolescent for us? Just to to be a little safer. So yes, you're saying please. that that a that a human child alone in the middle of the streets <laughs> is safer no, than me. I, uh, <laughs> quite possibly, because no one would be racist towards them. I mean, I guess. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll I'm fine. It's fine. I'll do it. I just need to. Yeah, just like let me know where where can I meet you in like twenty minutes. Here. I was going to say, I don't think we're leaving. We're going to eat. Okay. I just, just got a little up. Did you, okay, cha- did you so... change in anything? I mean, like, you didn't see whether I changed into anything. I may have changed it into something when I, like, got on the street or something. Roger that. Okay, so uh, Myrtle, I suspect that you are making your way over to downtown, uh, the bookstore. Uh, yeah, the, uh, <laughs> the the something king. Uh, I, don't I can't remember the name of it. Hold on, I can find it. 
The the digging king. Digging king bookstore. Yes. The digging king. Okay. So you uh, go on in, uh, and uh, you see the uh, the the older uh, owner. Uh, he's he's uh, putting some some books back up on a shelf, and he turns around and, and sees you come in and. Oh, uh, hello there. You're back so soon. I, your, for your book? I like, I like quietly, like, I know he sees me, but I quietly, like, sneak up to the counter and then just, like, I'm assuming I'm probably, like, face height with the level of the counter. Yep, pretty <laughs> and much, I just, like, yep. Pick up the receipt out of my bag and just, like, slide it across the counter. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yes, of course. Let's. Let's just take care of this here. I believe, uh, if I recall, it was 20 gold remaining owing on the book. Honestly, I don't remember, but sure, let's do that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what it was. <laughs> uh, we can we can fix that later if we need to, but I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Uh, he, here you are. Enjoy. I, I'll be honest, I've read through it myself a couple of times, uh, but... Uh, None, nonetheless, here it is for you. I've put a couple bookmarks like, inside, and uh, I slowly slide the twenty gold across the counter <laughs> and like pick up the gold and go, "Thank you so much," and I just scuttle out. Very well. Any any time. Have a good day. You as well. And I want to like hide the book in my bag. Like okay. if somebody tried to look through my bag, I want it to be like up through everything. Maybe like take. Like maybe can I take the cover from the smoking book and put it on this book? Yeah, uh, make a make a sleight of hand check to see how well you okay. can hide this in your bag. Oh, that's terrible. Hold on, hold on. Uh, that's a 15 in total. 15. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so you're able to uh, to make your way back uh, over to... Downtown? Uh, yep, yeah, make, your, make <laughs> your way downtown. Having lunch. And you're coast bound. <laughs> it works. Okay, so Myrtle shows back up in. I in say the, nothing. I just slide back <clears throat> up into my chair. Myrtle. No, no eye contact. Welcome back. Thanks. Glad to see you're safe. You know, I. I'm like. I'm like. Old, old enough. I, I've been keeping myself sick for a long time. I know how to keep myself sick if I need to. I've, I've no doubt. It's just not a safe city for for us. I'm, I mean, I'm like we're not in that area of all those snooty people. I feel like this part of the town has been pretty friendly. Uh, debatable. And yeah, it isn't as bad in the tangle. Certainly, um, there are there are parts over where uh, where the bookstore was and where uh, the fancy jeweler was, where there were some people that were maybe a little more uptight, not like shimmer word uptight, but uh, um, but definitely uh, a little snootier. Uh, but over where you are right now, it's. Uh, it's a very bustling market district with lots of different shops. And, and there are, you do see the odd tiefling and uh, certainly no, no dark gnomes, but there's plenty of half orcs and the odd orc as well. It's, it's, it's a little more uh, diverse in, in this area. Also, I've learned that if you are disturbingly friendly and make an excessive amount of eye contact, people are less likely to mess with you. Either that, or I'm just like really small, and I make it so that I'm not noticeable. <laughs> I got options, but mostly I just like a really uncomfortable amount of eye contact and smiling. Mm, I understand. So what you missed while you were away was uh, I was pitching a few group names. I was thinking United is <laughs> oh, Nope. Okay. How about the Prickly Peaks? <laughs> okay, the Aristocratic Belly Blowers. I feel like that one's sexual. Oh, you want sexual? How about the sensual no, predators? No. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that, was, that wasn't what I was saying. I was just saying belly blowers sounds like a lewd sex act. Right. I'm just saying. Right. Well, I guess I'll put in some more work. That would be good. Okay. And is there anyone else that wanted to do anything else here in... Did we get Rex food? Trim? 
oh yeah, yeah, you guys have uh, have been able to get some food, just some, you know, meats and cheeses, whatever. How much whatever bread it is was that left you want. on the table? Oh, yeah, there was. <laughs> there's there's probably uh, like a third of a loaf of bread left. Can I pocket it? Yeah, sure. Do you want to try to sneak it? I'm going to try to sneak it. Yes. Okay, make a sleight of hand check while everyone's sitting around a big rounded <laughs> table to see if you can. I mean. Yeah. Oh, crap. Everyone, everyone's uh, attention to uh, to to Myrtle as she uh, as she comes back, and right as everyone looks over it's at her when she first comes in, you like 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 a like a like a hawk. You like your claw juts out, grabs it, and stuffs it. As in a your point bag. of order, as a point of order, I I do see it. Okay. Yeah. I suppose. Uh, what is your passive perception? Twenty one. 21. I mean, oh, wow. Okay. It, was yeah. a, it was a crit, though. Doesn't that add flavor? Uh, he, I would yeah. say that he sees that you that you did something but and maybe grabbed something, but Fuck not off, specifically man. what. This is my little <laughs> But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, buddy. He's, uh, he's got an idea that you grabbed something, but it certainly wasn't anything constructing. You were so, f- so very quick. I did not see a, th- a thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like I've done this also, before. As, as Just in his of, peripheral vision. Yeah. Just to note, Myrtle has literally been back at the table for like approximately five seconds, and she's already covered the barbecue sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. And you guys aren't even having stuff with barbecue sauce. I don't know how to do that. That's weird. <laughs> Classic. I just have pocket barbecue sauce. Uh, you know the beat was a little bit bland today, <laughs> <laughs> and it was. It was. It was a little tough, a little bland. This isn't, you know, as nice of uh, a meal as what you, uh, you know, all things said about uh, about Camera's Cottage. The food was at least really, really good, and this is just kind of your standard fare here. Mediocre pub food. <clears throat> so we 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 do need mouse or we. Don't need mounts. I don't know. Zilch is being real weird. <laughs> yes, I believe Zilch will have to uh, let us know on that one. Z- Zilch? Uh, yeah, sorry. I was uh, tuned out there. Have it another stroke. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we do need mounts or we don't need mounts? I take a long drag off my cigarette and I stare at you. Are you done? We're ready to go? I'm I look more around confused the table. than before I asked. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think mean, we're I guess. just going to have to go along with his little game here and just follow him. him. Yeah. You're a weird little man. <sighs> I think I have enough smokes for this trip. All right, let's uh, let's depart. <clears throat> then off we go. Nug, are you here or no? I don't know if. Alcina. Oh, we um, how many how many uh, 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 health potions? I know I have two myself, but how many does? Oh, we just got we just got uh, a couple healing potions and a couple greater healing potions. And then we've got like these two vials. I don't know if you guys know what these are, but like we got these two vials of other stuff that might be useful at some point in time. But I've got them on me. If anybody wants a healing potion or a greater healing potion or. I, uh, if you may, um, I kind of spend a lot of time up front, so I could use a healing potion just in case. Okay, so the, do you want one of the regular ones or the greater? Whatever you feel generous about. Well, what does anybody else need? <laughs> I have no need for healing because I take the okay. enemy down. After you go <laughs> down a couple times first. <laughs> Probably best I, if you I, hold on to it then and save me. I Let's, already yeah, have one. So. Okay, so we'll give Zilch one of the regular healing potions, and I'll keep the other ones on on hand. And then if we decide anybody needs other ones, that I've got them. Does that work? It sounds uh, like a plan. Okay. And- and as you're kind of sitting around here uh, uh, eating and kind of going through the potions and divvying them out, you see, aside from those three potions and the uh, tobacco supplies, there is another vial. And uh, just kind of checking it out as you guys are talking, you're able to uh, figure out that it's uh, a vial of antitoxin. 
Okay, so the, what, one of the vials is a vial of antitoxin? There's a vial of antitoxin, two healing potions, a greater healing potion, and then the tobacco supplies. Oh, okay, so, okay. Got it. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to put that all into my inventory, and then let's get going. Okay. I think sounds like a plan. So you guys can head out from there. Uh, Eladir has uh, Theo tied to a hitch out front. Oh, uh, um, so can can Theo come with us through this uh, thing? I'm sorry. Can who come with us? Oh, my my horse, Theo. Uh, we um. How attached are you to this living thing? I, 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 <laughs> sort of, I look up at the horse and then I just give you like puppy dog eyes. <laughs> Please. You know what? You have my permission to bring it. And I kind of give you a bit of a shit eating grin and I turn and start walking. <laughs> oh Does God. anybody think he's going to try to eat the horse at some point? <laughs> <laughs> He said a shit-eating grin, not a horse-eating grin. Wow. (laughs) Very different things. And a boy. Okay. So uh, you guys uh, make your way over to the Cobalt Soul Archive. um, And uh, uh, Zilch leads you in. He's waved through. Everyone kind of nods at him as as he comes in. No one gives any pause to him. Uh, bringing you guys in. You guys were in here last night, uh, so it all seems kind of familiar. Um, he uh, leads you to a, a different uh, place than uh, than you stayed last night. It was on an upper floor, but he leads you uh, down some stairs into uh, a basement uh, area uh, and into a room uh, where you see, sitting behind a desk, a uh, uh, an older half-orc uh, with kind of uh, grayish skin and uh, uh, white hair that's that's pretty long and and uh, uh, done up into a, a braid that goes down most of the way down his back. Uh, Zilch, good to see you. Uh, and this is this is the group you were talking about. Mm, it's good to see you too. Likewise, and yes, this is the uh, this is the group I've been traveling with. Hi, I'm Myrtle. Uh, hello, Myrtle. Uh, I am uh, Archivist Cathedoc. Sorry, could you spell that for me? <laughs> uh, K- <laughs> K-A-T-H okay. E-D-O-C Okay. Got it. Uh, I am uh, Zilch's uh, uh, superior here at the Kubot Soul. Uh, it's more like a supervisor, but yeah, cool. Excuse <laughs> 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 Well, we've heard um, very good things about you, um, and Zilch has been kind enough to offer us, or you guys have been kind enough to offer us lodgings here last night when uh, uh, things went a little... Uh, racial uh, up in the Shema Ward, so uh, <laughs> we are very much appreciated, uh, appreciative of what uh, you have done and uh, and the help you have given us. And Zilch has been a very uh, a good companion for us uh, in this group um, the last little while, so thank you for <laughs> training him correctly. Uh, 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 well, well, thank you. Um, yes, I, I heard there was some, uh, some trouble and uh, Zilch had some guests last night, I assumed. Uh, it was you lot, um, but that's unfortunate to hear, but I, uh, I can assure you I understand. Uh, uh, are you, uh, do you have need of my services, Zilch? Yes, Cathedoc. Uh, we have business in Port Mali that uh, we require to meet somebody there tomorrow, and uh, I was hoping that... You could be of assistance. 
Oh yes, um, Porto Mali can uh, can be done. Um, I was hoping you would say that. Uh, is is this everyone? Uh, and and oh dear, you you would have also had to have uh, hitched uh, Theo up out front rather than bringing him in through yeah. this giant library. <laughs> you mean you can't teleport horses through uh, through these guys? I was under the impression that you could. Well, oh. we'll see where <laughs> things go. Uh, is is um, this everyone? Ex- ex- um, sorry, Mister. Um, I have a horse. Can can horses come with us, or do you have to stay here? You would like to bring a horse through he, my teleportation circle. He 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 means a lot to me. He's very through nice. This, through this library. I mean, to be clean. fair, Zilch said that the horse could come, but we also didn't know I... that he didn't tell us what, what was going on or what we were doing, so... <laughs> I merely suggested Gathadoc that uh, he has my permission, but I did not uh, speak on your behalf. <laughs> he got our hopes up, is what we're saying. I simply um, said I have a solution. Under no circumstances will I allow a horse in my teleportation circles. What if you get to know him a little bit? Uh, His name's Theo. Think, ooh, He's a very nice What about horse. a rat? <laughs> or something that fits in our be, pocket. If it fits in your pocket, fine. If it makes a mess of my teleportation circle, or potentially does. And I look at Sven. Zen. No. Sven? I think you're, I think you're mis, uh, uh, reading me for somebody in another campaign. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Who I? has the polymorph spell? Because, he got polymorph. Yes, because oh shit! That is I don't the have other polymorph. <laughs> <laughs> We're not old enough yet. I'm a We're wee. Dead. I'm a wee. I am a wee level four <laughs> druid. <laughs> I've <laughs> heard of. I've heard tales of uh, magic users that are able to do such a thing. Well, I am for myself, but I am not for uh, the people. Unfortunately. You are welcome to make use of the stables that we have here at the Cobalt Soul, but n- no, you may not bring a horse through my teleportation circle. Ellie, uh, I think um, I think that the horse will be fine here. Uh, these people seem to have it pretty well under control. Okay, that, that's fine. As long as he's looked after. Absolutely. Your animal will be cared for, but not by me. That, that's good. Okay. That's so <laughs> reassuring. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you are you're able to uh, to go back out, and uh, uh, Zilch would be able to, uh, if he wanted to, uh, show you uh, where you could uh, take the horse around and, and set up his care while you guys are out of town. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. But like, hear we hear me out. What if we dress up the horse as a person? That's actually three goblins in a person suit. You can certainly try. <laughs> I don't I even think, think that would be tall enough. I, I think the goblins would eat the horse, so I don't think it's a good idea. No, no, no. I mean, like, we dress up the horse as a person who is actually three goblins in a person suit that are dressed up as a person. So that, that explains all the lumpiness of the horse. Folks, um... I'd just like to make a comment, if I may. <laughs> the man here suggested, under no circumstances, uh, I think we need to show a little uh, respect. I think that's a good idea. Sorry, Ella dear. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Do you need time to go say goodbye to your animal? Uh, no, no, he. I'm sure he's fine. He. I think he's a lot happier in the stable, maybe. I give Eladir a hug. I don't think he would like the water, anyways. Fine. Okay. This is so heartbreaking. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is it though? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, Eladir sounds be. really fucking sad. It's just a horse. Fucking horse. Anyways, <laughs> Gathadoc, I believe we are ready. 
Very well. Wait, 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 then, wait, uh, wait, 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 wait. Yes. What is this? What's it do? Please explain it to me. Uh, is this Kobotsu Archive? Is one of many uh, amongst uh, is the different uh, archive or libraries in Wild Mount and Telgore and beyond. Uh, we have uh, teleportation circles that connect them. I can send you to any number of different places through them. Uh, Zadash, Uthadurn, uh, all over Teldore. What is the cost? In, there is no cost. Uh, Zilch is on a mission for the Cobalt Soul. And I am transferring you to the Portamali archive of the Cobalt Soul. I think that's... <clears throat> I, uh, I think that's a, uh, uh, this is a great idea. Um, it will get us there faster. We will not have to encounter any, you know, giants or wolves or anything else on the road on so along the way. Or I'm not afraid comes. of so giants. I'm all wolves. for this. I mean, clearly you're not afraid of giants. But there's always a cost. Would you like some there bread? There isn't a cost. Well, there's, okay. I'm going to pull a, 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 loaf, a loaf of bread and offer it, like... Uh, is reverently a word uh, towards sure. yes. the doc? Um, uh, thank you, but uh, I, I have already eaten my lunch today. Probably so stale by now. I, I, like a fucking rock bread. I feel that <laughs> I must pay my way. <laughs> uh, this is fine. I feel like you should probably just take the bread. <laughs> He uh, let's can we just awkwardly we take the bread and set it down on his desk? Okay, Thank perfect. You. Let's we're go. To, we're, we're taking a lot of this man's time up. Let's uh, <laughs> let's uh, get a move on. I am ready. Come right, come right this way. And he uh, he takes you down a hallway and uh, he pulls a key off of his belt and and opens it up, uh, opens up a door, and there's stairs leading down further uh, to an even lower level. And uh, you start going by some doors, and uh, you see uh, uh, words written on each of the, the different ones. One says uh, Vasselheim, one says Westron, uh, one says Zadash, uh, one says Uthadurn, and one says Port de Mali. And he uh, takes a different key off of his belt and opens that one up and uh, lets you inside. And so you guys go in there, and you can see there are uh, a number of uh, glyphs uh, in a circle on the floor. Um, they, they look arcane in nature. Um, they're just kind of uh, engraved into... Uh, well, uh, make a perception check. Anybody who cares can. Uh, I rolled a five. I am switching dice. Rip. I will just say. Uh, Sven got a 25. Uh, um, okay. Uh, oh, no, okay. 20. Uh, so yeah, you guys are, are kind of looking, looking around. Uh, it's kind of ominous almost in here, this, uh, this dank sort of dungeon. Uh, Sven and Nug, you, uh, you both are, are looking at these, uh, engravings in the floor and, you kind of look down and look a little bit closer, and it looks not even so much that they're engraved, but almost like the stone itself has been scorched uh, so that it's actually eaten out some of the stone. Um, and, and and it looks like there's, there's scorch marks in there, almost as if uh, something has been done over and over and over and over again in this space to, to leave those, those glyphs there. Uh, this is some some very uh, high magic that, uh, that makes this. I found a beetle. <laughs> <laughs> and so the uh, the door closes behind you, and uh, and you're standing around alone in this completely closed, two level deep basement room. Um, and then all of a sudden, the glyphs on the floor start to glow ah! 
and then they get uh, brighter and brighter, and uh, and then they all suddenly light up, and and there's like a, a pillar of light uh, shoots up from them around you guys, and uh, and then all of a sudden you just kind of feel a, like a warm sort of vibration in your body, and then <laughs> and then. <laughs> Almost as suddenly as it comes, it like vroom, all all shunts out of place, and you find yourself in a very similar looking room, uh, but it is is just a little bit different. The the shape of it is it's still a very cl- a small room that's essentially the size of uh, of this circular uh, set of glyphs on the floor uh, but the, you can tell the stonework looks a little bit different and the uh, the wooden door looks like it's made of a different kind of wood uh, Sven walks over to the, the wall and uh, throws up <coughs> <laughs> I'm going to uh, have to get used to that uh, yeah it happens I don't know if it's uh, first time it's the sulfur I think it I is think... very jaunting <laughs> <clears throat> I think my stomach got left at the other teleportation circle. <laughs> I wish I didn't give him my bread. I think I peed a little. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Eladir? How do you feel? <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like completely unfazed. I'm just like, oh, that was weird. <laughs> Are we there yet? <laughs> <laughs> is something is something meant to happen? <laughs> Uh, and then uh, the door opens, uh, and uh, and where Archivist Cathedoc, the uh, the uh, half orc, closed it, you see in his place uh, an older man. Uh, he looks to be in his sixties, human. Uh, he's got gray hair, uh, kind of with a comb over and a big mustache. Uh, and uh, he opens the door and uh, says, uh, "Welcome to Port de Mali. Uh, you must be the group." Uh, the Cathodoc sent over from Rexentrum. Hi, I'm Myrtle. Hello, Myrtle. I'm Archivist Hosso. Nice to meet you. Uh, right this way. I can, uh, I can lead you out. And he, uh, leads you through, and you see a, uh, a similar hallway, uh, although you'll note that, uh, this one has, uh, uh, a little bit different uh, configuration. Uh, the one you went into said Port de Mali, and, and the one you came out of says Rexentrum. Uh, you still see a, uh, a Western, uh, and you still see a Zadash room, uh, but you don't see one for Vasselheim, and you don't see one for Uthodurn here. Can we never do that again? <laughs> I mean, we, we, we may need to do that a couple more times. It is uh, uh, a little discomforting, but it is a very fast way to travel. I'm quite I'm impressed. Way, I'm way happier with going on horses. I agree. And they're cute and fuzzy, and you can pet them and make friends with them. Are we in Port de Mali, then? I think so. We are welcome to Port de Mali. Mm-hmm. Inside check! <laughs> <laughs> Sure, go for it. <laughs> it was mostly joking, but oh, okay. uh, the, I got I got a nineteen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You it seems like you must you must be. Where else would you be? I mean, it's there. <clears throat> to the salty sea dog, then. Can you do this all the time? We have cobalt so as many resources available. So yes. I think that is what he's saying. Not, maybe not if it's not for the usage of the cobalt soul, but we don't know that yet. Okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, you guys are led out, and as soon as you um, are, are led up out of the basement area, you see another. Uh, 
library type uh, type building. Uh, it, it doesn't seem as large as the one in Rex and Trim. The, the first thing you all notice as soon as you come up out of the basement area, and even probably down in there, uh, it is much, much warmer here than it was in Rex and Trim. And it's also much more humid. Uh, this mm, is, it feels like home. Yes, to you, this would feel very comforting. Absolutely. Uh, and uh, the sun the sun is uh, shining. Uh, it's odd. You're, you're let out, and, and the sun is, is shining. It's a, a beautiful, uh, beautiful day. There's a light uh, breeze on the air, and you can see off in the distance. You're up on a bit of a hill. Port Mali, you can see you're, you're not at the very top of it. It does seem to be built onto the side of a hill. And you can see, for many of you, for the very first time, you can see the ocean. And it stretches as far as you can see. You can smell the the warm, salty uh, sea air uh, coming in uh, uh, right into your noses as you as you exit the building. Whoa! That for, for, yeah, for, for Sven and Grimdor, this is this is old hat. That uh, is yeah. terrifying. Mm. It just goes on forever. This is my uh, comfort zone. I am. I love it here. Oh, does anybody have have butt sweat? I feel like my butt <laughs> just got really sweaty. I pretty much always have butt sweat. Wow. <laughs> this armor is really heavy. I just but like I don't I, like. Oh God! It's just, uh, it's Another so reason I don't here. like water. Does you can't really it's swim. Too hot. It is quite warm, yes. It feels more humid than hot, though. Though it's kind of humid, humid, yeah. Okay, so you guys are outside of the Cobalt Soul Archive in Port Tamale. What would you like to do? Well, uh, are, are we going straight to uh, straight to the, the salty uh, dog, or be required eats? Yes, it's still dark. Uh, Is it uh, technically tomorrow here? Uh, so you, once oh, you're outside, a good, uh, good point. Take a look. Uh, you take a look at the sky. Make um, I don't know what kind of check to uh, make it just a straight intelligence check. I got a natural one. Natural <laughs> one. Wow. Plus three. It's four. You have no idea. It's daytime. <laughs> Oh, that's the sun. Yeah, you can see yeah, it in the daytime. The it's real bright out here. I am so hot. If anybody else wants to make an intelligence check and see if they can respond to her here. Um, I imagine Ella is probably just, like, maybe pulled up her cloak to, like, shield the sun out of, like, her face. Oh, yeah, probably, probably yeah. like, way brighter than Rex and Trum. It is so bright. It was... Yeah. It, it was... It was... Uh, overcast in Rex and Trim and damp and and cool. Even though it was spring, it was still kind of uh, that kind of weather. Uh, mm-hmm. Here, this is this is practically tropical weather. Yeah. Murdo's already yeah, guy. spent way too much time trying to stare directly at the sun. It's not really very well. <laughs> Murdo, it's quit it's definitely looking daytime. at the sun. <laughs> you will go blind. Didn't your mother teach you anything? I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, oh, no! Oh, I could have oh, no. oh, tried to. Oh, that's so bad. So oh, crit. <laughs> oh, oh, Myrtle just dies. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. Zero hit points. All three death saves. Just gone. No <laughs> Your Gar- oh, Simon and Garfunkel in the background. <laughs> Hello, so get no darkness. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. So Mortals I guess you guys have no talk idea what time it is. We have no idea. No, we have no fucking idea. To the sea, no. salty, salty sea dog. Sea, salty, salty sea dog. I think it's daytime. Dog. Yes. Shall we? Yes. Continue. We shall. Yeah. Do you know sure, how to get why there? Not? Yes. Yeah. I don't know how to get there. 
Is there like a it's kiosk a... <laughs> outside? Is there like a Does kiosk? Does Nelch know how to get there? We could ask somebody. Or... Are there any uh, yeah, yes. guards with little icons over their heads that we can go talk to? <laughs> <laughs> um, so you could certainly go. You're just outside. You've just left the uh, Cobalt Soul Archive. You could go back in and ask one. Uh, you do also see uh, in Grimdor, you would recognize them. You see uh, some uh, uh, Zoezo uh, walking around. The, these are. In the Clovis Concord, uh, which is the collection of city-states uh, uh, that makes up uh, the Menagerie Coast, uh, the uh, sort of armed forces, like kind of a cross between city guard and uh, and the um, I'm a righteous brand, mm -hmm. uh, kind of performing both functions, are the Zalezo. Uh, they're they're individually uh, hired by each uh, city, but it's they're one large unit, and and those are the equivalent of a guard uh, that you could go and ask. Can you spell that? Zalezo. Uh, can I? Maybe. Uh, <laughs> I I just have to double check the spelling. Uh, I'll I'll get it for you. In a, okay, in a no big deal. It's just for the notes. Um, yep. Then I guess I will just walk up to the nearest one and say, "Excuse me." Uh, we're looking for the Salty Sea Dog Tavern. Could you point us in the right direction? Okay, so you, uh, so you walk up to the Zalezo and ask that. What, one appears to be a human and one appears to be, uh, an, an elf. Uh, and they say, uh, oh yeah, it's, uh, it's down there, uh, well, you know, kind of look, and he's, he's pointing down. It's, it's, it's not too far from the docks. Um... Head down, uh, head down that way. Find the the larboard light, uh, and uh, and and someone down there should be able to tell you more specifically. Thank you. This way, friends. Okay, I've got the spelling for Zelezo for you. All right. It's uh, Z H E L E Z O. Nailed. Okay. Um. Shall we head down towards the? Did you say labored, labored light or the lar the larboard light? Larboard light is that a word? Yeah. Uh, well, two words. Yeah, I don't know. I, what the hell's larboard? I mean, it's just a word. It's just a word, man. Fancy word. Leave it alone. So much Leave it alone. <laughs> So. All right, I guess let's go in that direction. Yeah, yeah, everyone. Sounds good. Let's do it. Do it. Okay, so you uh, you start walking down there, and uh, it's it's a bit of a walk, but it's uh, but it's an easy enough walk since it's uh, mostly downhill. There's some curving streets, and you see it. This is a, a bustling city, especially as you start to get uh, down a little closer to the docks. Um, you can see there there are many ships uh, docked at uh, at the docks and uh, things being loaded and unloaded and it's it's an interesting thing with this uh, with this city being built on a hill and it's it's big it's it's probably you you would guess that it's maybe almost half the size of Rexentrim, uh, which still makes it an extremely large city uh, much much bigger than. Uh, than say Port Zune uh, that you're from Grimdor or Hopper Duke that you're from uh, at Myrtle. Is it possible um, to get like a temperature of what the people are feeling as we're moving through? Yeah, everyone everyone seems happy. Uh, it's uh, I mean not everyone, but it's there's there's definitely no tension in the air here. Uh, the Clovis Concord is uh, is not a part of the war. You would know that uh, Grimdor that. Uh, the Clovis Concord is not a part of the war between the the Empire and um, and the Kryn Dynasty. Uh, they try to stay neutral with this. They are a trading partner with uh, with the Empire, uh, but they're trying to keep out of any kind of mix-ups uh, between uh, between any fighting that's going on there. And uh, you would know enough about Port Damali as well. Uh, certainly Sven and Grimdor would know that this is a major trading uh, city and people from all over the entire planet end up in, in Port Damali. If it's coming from another continent, it's probably coming through here first. This is a, a very um, important trading port for the area. Hey, and guys. And Sven, you would have briefly been here. This this is where you yes. would have landed before heading heading through to to Hubbard Duke. 
Hey this guys. This brings me back. Uh, how crazy Good things I... get. Uh... Okay, yes. What would you like, Mato? <laughs> it's all downhill from here. Wow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> had to interrupt me Push. for that one, didn't you? I see how it is. I've, I've been waiting for a while to say that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, shall we go? Okay. So you guys keep uh, making your making your way down the town. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Um, I, I assume out. we're keeping our eyes on the signs or whatever, looking for the labored light, larboard light. Yeah, so you, you're able to uh, to quickly figure out that that's the name of kind of a district of the town. It's uh, it's the district just uh, just up from the docks. Uh, so there's the docks and the surrounding uh, uh, warehouses and whatnot uh, right at the south of the city. Uh, and then uh, just north of that um, would be there'd be a major road uh, connecting through, uh, and uh, the Larboard Light is the area where there are inns and pubs and taverns and uh, small shops, um, slightly touristy in some areas, um, but just kind of the. Uh, the commercial district of uh, of Port Tamale. Um, the You're able to the, find that well enough. The uh, streamers want to know if there's a map. Uh, there will be. Okay. There will be. By streamers, but you I guys. Mean... Uh, <laughs> uh, there, there will be uh, a map of that Sweet. soon. Uh, so yeah, you you guys are able to uh, find this area. And uh, if you if you want to talk to some people, they could uh, point you in the way uh, of the salty sea dog. Sure. They probably give you. Oh, go ahead. Uh, do we see any more of the Zalezzo? Zalezzo? Yeah, they're 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 around from time to time. It's not a like a heavy police presence kind of thing, but you do see them. They seem relaxed. They don't seem tense. They don't seem uptight. They don't see taken aback by any of your appearances and. And you notice, uh, and definitely as you start to get down into the, the Larboard Light District, there are all kinds of people here. Races that you maybe have, as some of you have never seen before. Um, there are certainly uh, humans, elves, dwarves, halflings, uh, gnomes, um, tieflings. Uh, you see some tabaxi. Um, and some some of them you probably don't even recognize what uh, what race they are. Uh, excuse me. Um, could you point us in the direction of the salty sea dog? Haha, <laughs> the salty sea dog. You like to party then? Yeah, it's uh, it's right down that way. Great, thank you. Have fun. Watch your uh, watch your coin purse. That is the Hmm. And, and so he points you uh, down a road. Oh, go ahead. No, that was it. I was going to say, we go. Nope. I'll take my coin purse out and put it behind my breastplate. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and you make your way over to uh, to what looks to be the Salty Sea Dog. There's a sign out front. There's a lot of people uh, uh, inside. You can tell from uh, from looking through the windows. Uh, and uh, there's some people going in and out, and as the door opens, you can hear that there's uh, some ruckus inside, not people fighting or anything, but just people laughing and drinking, and you hear some music in there. And, uh, and yeah, you've found the Salty Sea Dog. And before so you it, go in... Uh, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, no, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, that's I was just going to say, yeah, you, you go first, trust me. Okay, uh, so Zilch, uh, who are we meeting here? Um, I'm assuming it's someone to give you some sort of mission that uh, we'll need to conduct as well. Yes, um, in order to procure a ship to whatever that fucking island's called. Uh, we need oh, to meet up with the guy. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I thought we already what? had a ship. Yes, but we have to meet with Captain Morley to obtain said ship. He will be our captain. Thus, his name is Captain Morley. That makes sense. Thank you. That makes perfect sense, yeah. I, I did try to make it. So this guy is a captain, you're saying? I believe he's a captain of a ship, and if uh, 
You're not from around okay, here. Fuck that one up. I believe what? if you run a ship, that makes you a captain. That's, okay, he... so, so that's not just his first name? Okay, Marcel, I know you're trying to fuck with Zilch, but stop it. <laughs> it is his name. That was and a he's a captain. Question. She lies. She she honey chicken right now? Is she fucking with Chow? <laughs> 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 yes. I pull up my smoke to just light one and <sighs> El- Elodie was like trying it's... to say something, I think. Do do we know if this Captain Morley is gonna take us, or do we have to go ask him about that? It I would assume is he knows. It is agreed. I mean, you're the one that talked about grandma, so. I thought he was just uh, a, a person of interest. Nope, he's the guy. <laughs> Eladir, you'll remember that uh, you were told uh, by, uh, you and Zilch, when you were in the meeting, uh, were told that uh, Thomas Morley is the one that was uh, occasionally ferrying uh, Catherine Diversky between Palma Flora and Sudakoto. Yeah. Uh, and that you were to meet him in Palma Flora. That's what you were told in the meeting. Oh, okay. I, I missed the we have to meet him part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that he was willing to uh, to take you guys uh, to the same place that he had been taking uh, Catherine Diversky before she stopped showing up. Uh, oh, I see. But but you would have to meet him in Palma Flora. That's what you were told. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. My bad. All right. So we're so. meeting him here. Is that what's happening? Zilch, take the lead. I was on mute and I was talking, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> what I was saying was, uh, from what I understand, we meet this individual here, and I guess we'll we'll know. So let's try not to get so the my, fight here. So my grandma told you to meet him here, or I uh, that, that is that is correct. Yes. Or it was Diversky, if that's your grandmother. I don't, I don't pay attention to that stuff. Yeah, yes, is that yes. is that one? All right. It's, yeah. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Okay. So you guys are gonna go in. Yep. After yep. you, Zilch. I'm ho- I'm holding my. Uh, I will. My chest, yes, I am. By the way. I'm holding. <laughs> yeah, I'm holding my coin purse as close in my hand as possible. <laughs> okay. I don't trust any of you. I'm All stuffing right, my coin it. purse well, down where, nice. down by my coin purse, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, and so as you guys uh, go don't to, lose his coins. <laughs> you guys go to enter the salty sea dog, and uh, we're gonna take a little break right here. Oh, snap. okay. All right. All right. All right. I guess it's break time. Yeah, it's gonna like ten minutes or something. All right. Yeah, ten minutes. Be right back. That's good. Let's cool. do this. What's up, guys? Okay, we're all back. Uh, let's keep it going, and uh, let's give that shout out while we're at it, Chris. Too. Uh, just found out a good friend of mine, George, was listening in. Or Percival has this little online handle there. Thank you very much, buddy. Love you. Thanks for listening in. And scene. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> all right. So uh, the group uh, is now outside of the salty sea dog. Uh, where you can hear uh, some friendly ruckus uh, happening inside. You all enter, and you find a pretty rowdy-looking tavern. Uh, everyone's laughing. There's some people singing along with a bard that's uh, that's playing off in the corner. What's the bard's uh, Everyone's... <laughs> I don't know. You have to go ask him. Is he uh, uh, is he a dwarf? Um, yes, actually, he is a dwarf. 
you don't, well, I mean, you don't know, you don't recognize him. <laughs> Are you there, God? I need to know the name of that dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so yeah, it's, it's very busy. The, the tables are pretty packed. There's, uh, uh, there's people of all sorts in here. They, they definitely don't look like the, uh, the sort of patrons you guys are, are used to seeing lately. Um, they, uh, the, these are, these are working, uh, men and women. Uh, they, they are covered in tattoos and earrings and their clothes are are well worn in and everyone seems to be having a really good time uh you see behind the bar uh there's uh, there's a bartender back there uh, looks to be a, a pretty tall pretty uh, rotund uh orange tabaxi with uh, with black spots um the, the the room itself to to give you an idea of what it looks like it's it's decorated all over with nautical related items. There's ships, wheels and udders and oars and anchors and all that lining, uh, lining the, uh, the walls and, uh, impossible to miss. There's a, a big centerpiece hanging in the, uh, middle of the, of the room, uh, from the ceiling. It is, uh, a, a very worn, uh, ship's figure head. It's, it's a mermaid. Uh, she's topless, and she's holding a trident. Uh, and this thing must be uh, easily 10, 15 feet long. Uh, it, the paint's all chipped. It looks like it's uh, from an old retired uh, retired ship. And this is suspended from the ceiling in the middle of the room. This place is so cool. Okay. Yes, you come across uh, a lot of these places uh, when you're uh, traveling to the seafaring towns. It's just make sure you don't look at anybody too directly. I make so much eye contact. <laughs> <laughs> and it's and people see good. people see you uh, making eye contact, and they smile back and lift a mug, and they're they're pounding their fists on the on the the table to the beat of the uh, the music the bard is playing and uh, and everyone seems to be having a grand old time they're rough and tumble but nobody here seems like they're uh, they're evil that you can tell what you can just see like Myrtle using? with all the eye contact and like the people like being into it just like slowly starting to move more to the beat of the music and be really fucking excited about the whole thing <laughs> <laughs> You had a question there, Grimdor? Uh, what instrument is the bard playing? That's a steel drum. You son of a bitch. (laughs) (laughs) He did it. (laughs) Different, completely different world. Don't worry. (laughs) It's a completely different world. Yeah, his name's Uh, Fred. Yeah. It's uh, it's uh, the the steel <laughs> drum is mostly black, uh, but it uh, seems to be uh, trimmed uh, in uh, neon orange. Oh my god, we're so close. We were so close. <laughs> His name is Gragolas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm enough diverting. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so you guys are in here. What would you like to do? I would like to go get a beer. I okay. too would like to get a beer, but I'm going to get a beer by the bar, and I'm going to kind of uh, bring Zilch with me, but like politely and respectfully, but like let's go over to the bar. Okay, all the tables look to be full. There is some space near the bar, but uh, uh, all the tables look to be It is very busy in here. Well, we could stand and order our drinks. Oh, yeah, you can stand. Is everybody going up to the bar then? Yes. So, I will follow uh, so it along. I, yep. I would like to find the most tattooed up, pierced up table in the place. And I just want to go up and like be like, hi. I think well, hello there, little lady. What brings you in here? Oh, you know, we're just like, we're, we're doing it. I'm trying to find my mom, to be honest. Um, we're, and we're just like... I'm trying to find your mom, too. Hi, really? You don't have one? <laughs> if that's her name. I Truthfully, though, you. I'm trying to find this guy's mom and that guy's mom and that guy's mom. Oh, my God. You're all missing your moms? I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm the one missing their moms. Oh, my God. Do you, do you have a children? <laughs> the other ones are like, ah! <laughs> 
<laughs> and they all start laughing and they're like punching each other in the in the arm. Not not in a mean way. They're just these guys are clearly half in the bag. I'm so glad that you're all supportive of finding each other's family. I know how it feels to feel like your family is missing. I just wanted to let you guys know that I thought that your your tattoos and piercings were really cool and I just wanted to, you know, let you know that you, you guys seem seem really cool. Why thanks, little lady. Um, I also was maybe wondering, do you know um, somebody maybe named Captain Thomas Morley? Morley? Yeah, he's around here somewhere. He's uh he is supposed to help me out with his with his ship. Um can you maybe point me in his direction or I don't know where he went. What does he look like? I know where his mom went. Ma! <laughs> At least I just go back to drinking. Oh. Oh, everybody's <laughs> moms are missing. I don't understand. But guys, guys, we have to find these guys' moms, too. And Captain Morley's <laughs> mom is missing. And so Burl comes back over towards the uh, the bar where you guys are. Everybody's moms are gone. There must be some sort of magic thing going on here. <laughs> And uh, Grimdor, I think you wanted to do something? Uh, yeah, I was bringing Zilch over to the bar, and I was going to whisper to him and just say, like, ask around for Thomas, but that's already happened. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> All right, so, uh, so you guys are at the bar. You can order drinks if you like. I would like a, uh, a good pierce now, please. A ale. Pilsner, an ale. Would you like, um, this is the, the rotund orange tabaxi uh, barkeep. Uh, he says, uh, would you like a salty dog ale? It's our specialty. Yes. You know what? All I will right. try one of those as well. All right. One for the group? Could I yeah, sure. That, sure. Could I just uh, get a water, please? And a straw? Is the water free? These straws hurt the sea turtles. We don't use straws around here. We don't got no straws, but I can get you some water. That would be great. Thank you. I'll take one, too, please. All right. So he puts down a couple of waters and uh, he gets... So it's just uh, Zilch... Uh, sorry, um, uh, Sven and Nug that want the beers. What's Zilch you having? I do. I... Zilch will have the water. I'm... I'm trying to stay as nondescript as possible. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. All right. Uh, so he, he brings waters for the people who asked for waters, and the people who didn't say anything, uh, he puts down a nail in front of them. So that would be uh, Nug, Sven, and Eladir. Uh So it's uh, like a, a, a big, tall uh, mug with uh, a glass mug. Uh, and it's got a very dark uh, beer in it, and he uh, he pops a uh, a sea snail down next to each one of them, and he says, "You put that in, you chug it, and then you swallow the snail." <laughs> I think well, I'll do it, fun. but you know what? I'm going to do it. Yeah, I'm going to do it too. Myrtle takes a glass of water and like starts blowing bubbles in it from the side <laughs> of the cup, and then takes a sip of it. And it's like I, I had heard that like bubbly water was like super classy, but I don't notice the difference. All tastes the same to me, dear. Is the glass clean? <laughs> <laughs> not particularly. It's not like filthy, Fresh but like yeah, it's not that clean. Yeah. I mean, yeah okay. <laughs> so then. What brings you all here? You're not regulars. Well, we are looking for um, a captain of one of the ships. Uh, captain Thomas Morley. Captain Morley? Thomas Morley? Morley, he's right behind you. We all turn around. <laughs> <laughs> captain's right. So, uh, you guys turn around. And you see standing pretty much right behind you um, a uh, so he looks like a Goliath. He's very tall, very broad, muscular, 
Uh, he's got uh, like uh, leather bandoliers with knives and, and tools and stuff uh, on him, wearing no shirt underneath and leather leather breeches and boots. And uh, he he looks like a Goliath, except for his hair. Normally, uh, a Goliath you would recognize as being completely bald and, and no facial hair and some tattoos on the head. Uh, pretty typical for a Goliath. But uh, this guy uh, has some stubble and he has uh, some long, orangish, uh, frizzy hair and freckles. This guy is a Goliath ginger. Oh my god. I love him. Oh my god. <laughs> Captain Morley, I presume. Uh, and then you hear, Yeah, I'm Morley down here. <laughs> and you guys look down. <laughs> and you see, uh, standing almost as tall as Myrtle, a uh, bipedal uh, frog <laughs> wearing, a, like, a, a musketeer hat with a, a large feather, uh, a flowy white piratey sort of shirt uh, and you see he's got a, uh, a rapier on one hip and some sort of a pistol on the other You're and a sta- monster <laughs> and standing <laughs> and standing beside him is um, what looks like you know that cactus creature from Final Fantasy. Yeah. Cactus. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Basically like one of those, but uh, without without uh, any any spikes or spines uh, and more spindly arms and legs. And uh, you hear the frog uh, being uh, actually, why doesn't everybody make a either a nature or a history check? Oh, I'm really good at sure. both of those. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Your choice, whichever one you prefer. I got a 14 for either 14? nature or history. I have the both the same both. Oh, I've got okay. a 10. Okay. <laughs> Natural one. My, My rolls have gone downhill. In medicine. Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> Is that everybody? Oh, crap. Uh, so you had a 14, Myrtle? Yep. Okay, um, y- you somehow have uh, have heard about uh, this race before. Uh, they are called uh, Grung. 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 G R U N G. Uh oh. Anybody else's sound just go out? Uh. Did we lose everybody? That was weird. I don't know what's happening. Who's logging in and out? Oh, I'm back. I did. I lost, oh, okay. I lost all sound. I, 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 I lost all sound. I lost Oh, okay, wow. perfect. Wasn't just okay. Me. We're all back now, though. Okay. Okay. Nothing so, uh, so he's standing there, and he says, uh, "Yeah, I'm Captain Morley. Are you? Uh, are you the ones that uh, Grandma Moneybags sent to see me?" Yeah, okay. Okay. no word, just the hugest smile on his face. <laughs> this is the greatest moment of my life. <laughs> Hi, I'm Myrtle. <laughs> Hi, Myrtle. What? So what? What? What's, what's the rest <laughs> of you guys? What's what's your problem? You sitting there with your uh, mouth hanging open? What's the problem? Oh, uh, hello, Mr. Uh, Mr. Mor- Morley. Captain that's, Morley. That's Captain Morley. That's right. Uh, yeah, we we've been sent by. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, Grandma uh, Moneybags. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Traversky. I'm supposed Mas- to take you, to, uh, take you to the island. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got it. Yeah. You're the ones. Got oh. it. Yeah. Did, you knew Catherine, right? Oh yeah, yeah. She was she was a cool uh, she was a cool lady. Very nice. She's my mom. Oh, cool. She never mentioned you. I've, I've never met her. Ooh. I thought that's that's really oh wow. Ah well, <laughs> there's a lot to unpack at this moment right now. So, sorry, lady, I didn't know. Well, I didn't either until a couple days ago. So ah well, so what's your problem then? 
Uh, well, I mean, Grandma Money Bags is the reason I didn't remember, so that's mostly why why it's an issue. <laughs> oh yeah, she's uh, she's some kind of hard ass or something. I'm not Seems really like it. Ah, uh, whatever. She pays well. What is the cost totally to travel? Oh, like I said, Grandma Moneybags has got it all taken care of. So when do we yeah, go? We're getting paid for the quest. We're not paying for the quest. <laughs> when do we go? When, when do you want to go? As soon as possible. All right. Well, uh, let me uh, introduce you uh, to my uh, my companions here. They, uh, they help me run my ship. Uh, this here is Lawrence. And he uh, points over to the uh, to the uh, cactus cucumber looking creature, and and Lawrence uh, goes. Lawrence, I agree. Uh, what what language is that? Ah, uh, I don't know. Um. I, I just kind of figured it out. I spent a lot of time with this guy. He says hi. What did he say? Oh, he says hi. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Hi, hi, Lawrence. Nice to meet you. I'm Myrtle. And he puts his hand out to uh, shake your hand. What did he say? I, I shake his hand. I said nice to meet. I'm not gonna be translating for this guy the whole time. You guys is gonna have to figure it out. It's not that hard. He says blah 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 blah. It means whatever he's saying. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, so basically, we just try uh, to guess the whole time. Okay. I guess no, just figure it out. <laughs> anyway. Is, the, it makes sense. This, uh, this big guy here, uh, this is uh, Hazelwood. Hi, Hazelwood. Hello. <laughs> That's all he said. I respect that. At yeah, least Hazel- I understand him. Hazel was the muscle, you know. He uh, he lifts things. He does all the, you know, the big, you know, the heavy lifting on the ship. He looks like it. Yeah, I, Lawrence. I understand his plight. Lawrence is my first mate. He's uh, he's a navigator too. We, uh, you know, we're we're a small crew, but we get we get from place to place. Well, you seem great. I'm really excited to to sail with you. Listen, I have something to ask you. Um, yeah, what? So, like, we're looking for my mom, but there's these guys over at this other table over here, and they're all looking for their moms. And do you think that this is actually just, like, a big, giant kidnapping of moms? Yeah, I don't know nothing about that, but if their grandmas want to pay me, too, then sure. I'll take them off to an island. What's it to me? Well, I mean, I figure if we're already there, we might as well look for other moms if they're going missing. It might be an epidemic. We don't know. Yeah, you do you, Twits. I'm just taking you to the island. What does well, this guy mean? So much. <laughs> I don't think if you kill him, I'm going to go mad. I'm so happy about this. <laughs> so, so we're gonna we're we gonna have some more drinks, or uh, well, what's the should, should we just... like? Yeah, should we just like get to know each other over the night and maybe head out in the morning? Yeah, whatever you want. I think that's a great idea. Um, the money's you know all the same uh, to me. Do you know of some places that we might be able to get some lodgings uh, in this city? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I always just stay on the ship. Okay. That sounds... Uh, you can stay on the ship if you want. Sold. I mean, that works for us. Oh, right. yeah, that sounds great. Um, just just for my records, what are the, the people's names? Because I'm terrible with names and we'll never remember them. Uh, the cucumber creature <laughs> is uh, is named Lawrence. Lawrence. With a W or a U? Uh, with a W. Okay. I think. Let me double check. I don't have it it's up in front of me. I'm pretty sure it's with a W. Uh, and then uh, Hazelwood is the, uh, Hazelwood. The, the ginger goliath. Okay, thank you. So, we're going to get some drinks? Uh, yeah, that sounds great. Do you have a table to sit at or anything? I know this place is super full. Oh, yeah. I'm a pretty big deal around here. I got my own table. Well, that sounds great. And he, uh, he takes you off, and, and sure enough, there's uh, there's a corner table uh, that uh, that's there. Um, m- make an insight check. Okay. 
Uh, let's see, that is a 16. 16. Um, you get the sense that um, might not be so much that Morley's a big deal. It's that Hazelwood is a big deal. Mm-hmm. That's fair, yeah. Also, yeah, no. I would just like to point out that Myrtle makes a very concerted effort to sit beside Hazelwood. <laughs> okay. All right, so uh, drinks and food could be had if you want. Um, at this point, you've kind of figured out uh, that uh, the time of day that you couldn't quite figure out before, uh, you've <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's a couple of hours behind where you were uh, in Rex and Trim. Um, so it's probably at this point, by the time you've uh, done all this walking around and and uh, and everything, it's probably around noon, one o'clock right now in uh, in in this time zone. All right, day, day drinking. Yeah. And so you've got a table. Um, also, Myrtle makes a point of ordering whatever Hazelwood orders. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Hazelwood orders <laughs> Hazelwood orders three of the salty dog ales. Yep, nice. that's what I'm drinking. Jeez. I'm gonna I'm gonna order like a good like seven or eight of them for the table and Yeah. Let's uh yes, uh, let's let's keep this flowing tonight. Um I mean today. We might as well just get good and uh liquored up before our, our journey tomorrow we're all gonna be uh seasick. Or at least I won't be be I won't be because I am so used to ships, but uh, this would be funny to see you guys. I mean, like, it makes sense. I'm sure it'll be fine. Seasickness. Wrong, right? So, um, Captain, uh, give us your grandest uh, sea story, your war story. Uh, the, the, the craziest fight or that you've, uh, you've, ever, you've ever had at sea. Oh, well, uh... Uh, you know, uh, uh, there was this time. You know, I was I was uh, sailing underneath the captain three earrings. Um, she's kind of a bitch, but uh, but she got the job done. And you know, we were uh, we were we were smuggling some stuff that uh, some spice. We were we were transporting some spice. Some spice. Oh, you know what I mean. Spice. Mm-hmm. And uh, and and you know, um, so uh, there was some some guys that that maybe we owed a little bit of money to and uh, they got word of this and and they uh they tracked us down uh, just not too far off of dark top uh and uh i would say probably just Sven. you could make a uh a, a history check to uh the zilch you could do it too you live in a library Fourteen. Uh, Fourteen. Um, you've heard of Dark Toe. You know it's an island. Um, uh, you, it's something about it's like a pirate island or something like that. That's that's all you really know. Pirate island. <laughs> so, anyways, we was uh, we was taking this stuff uh, from from Marquette, uh, and we were going. We was going past. Uh, dark toe and, and they caught up with us right and, and it was a chase it was a chase and uh we, we we had our cannons out and they had their cannons out and we was we was blowing each other left and right <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, uh, tell me that was on purpose <laughs> oh yeah it was definitely on purpose <laughs> and uh and, and, and so, just as just as we was about to go down, I uh, I, I was I, I I was arming the cannon, and and uh, and Hazelwood he was aiming it, and uh, and 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 Lawrence he was lining it up, and the three of us was all working together as a team, and we got it right, right down the barrels. Oh yeah, and uh, and we got it right down, and, and we and we sunk them just as they was about to catch up to us, and they had a much bigger ship than us, you know. They would have they would have beat our asses, but uh, but you know I, I got my crew here, my my, my two best pals, and. Uh, the three of us together was able to uh, to save the day, you know. And uh, you know, th- three earrings. She she never appreciated us. So um, you know, wow. uh, one one day we just sort of uh, 
we took off. We, we, we wanted to make our own way, you know? Uh, the pirate life is a little bit dangerous. So, um, we, uh, we, we indulged ourselves in, uh, some, some payment, uh, from, uh, Three Earrings' uh, cabin and, uh, made our way, uh, off of the ship and, uh, and, and purchased one of our own. Um, by the way, if you ever hear uh, someone mention three earrings, please let me know right away. I was going to say, so she that is quite a, a riveting tale. She has not uh, come after you yet. Um, she has not caught me yet. <laughs> That's a good answer. Oh, that sounded like something out of my favorite books. Oh, yeah? What's that? I can't remember the title. Oh yeah, it's a good one. I saw that one too. Mm. Yeah, no, totally. There's yeah, no, just can't remember the title of my favorite book. <laughs> yeah, it happens to me all the time. <laughs> he takes a big drink. <laughs> I so, uh, am how, how also trying to keep up with Hazelwood as far as his drinking goes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, make a constitution saving throw then. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. That is sorry. Uh. 17. 17. Uh, I mean, you're not keeping up with him, but you are holding your, your liquor. But you you are definitely buzzing at this point. Yeah, that's the right. So you've just made it to the end of the first one. He's down a couple. You're just making it to the end of the, the first one, and there is a snail in the bottom of the I try glass. to catch up. Also, I'm eating the snails. Okay. If he's eating the snails, unless yep. he's not eating the snails, in which case. Oh, not. he's he's swallowing them, but it's the a pretty big. Delicious. It's Literally. a pretty big snail. You would have a lot of trouble uh, swallowing it. You would have to chomp down on it. I'm That's on like right. my eighth snail. Please, please tell me he's like attacking them with his tongue, like just scooping them up. With <laughs> Whoa! His tongue. This is what the fuck? <laughs> he's just oh, down it. Way. And, well, he no, he's just like. <laughs> They're like jello shots for him. <laughs> yeah, basically. He's just like chugging the, the beer once it gets towards the end, and the snail just falls down his throat as he's chugging the beer. Hey. Guys, he's a giant frog. Like, come on. Oh, no, no, no. no. He's a tiny frog. Not the. No, this no, isn't. No, no. This uh, is Hazelwood. This the is giant, Hazelwood. Oh, like, oh Hazelwood? Oh, oh never mind. I think you're talking about the frog man. No, no. This is Hazelwood, the, the, the ginger Goliath. My bad. <laughs> so, like, Myrtle notices she's falling behind and tries to keep, like, catch up. Okay. We'll, we'll check back on him yeah. back shortly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, so um, Lawrence uh, kind of pipes up and uh, he looks over at uh, at Captain Morley and says, <laughs> and, uh, and Morley says, uh, yeah, so, uh, uh, who, who, who are all you guys? You, you, you just, you just met your mom or something? You just met your grandma? What's, what's the deal? Um, uh, so, I've lived in Hoverduke my entire life, and I was working at, like, as, like, as, like, a guard, and then I met up with these people, and we ended up going and meeting my grandma, who I was raised by, like, some family, but, like, not my, like, like mom or dad or anybody. So, like, I met her, and she told me that she was my grandma, and then she told me that she erased my memories so that I wouldn't remember that I had a mom or that my mom wanted me. All right, jeez, that's tough. Yeah, I'm not pleased with her in any capacity. Um... So I'm just trying to find my mom so I can, like, I don't even know if she really knows that I'm still around or anything. Well, I don't know nothing about that, but, uh, you know, she's, uh, she, if, if it's this, this Catherine Tversky lady, if that's your mom, she's, she's pretty nice. Yeah, she's, is she? Can you tell me stuff about her? Well, I don't know. She's always pretty polite and, uh. Uh, I took her back and forth between Palma, Florida, and this uh, Sudakoto Island. She wanted to talk to those uh, those lizard lizard guys out there, and I don't know. I never talked to them, but uh, I don't know. She says they're, they're nice enough. 
Uh, and then uh, one day she just started uh, not showing up. I was supposed to go get her, and she wasn't there. So I went home and uh, came back the next time, and, and she still wasn't there. Got a little, uh, a little, a little worried, so uh, I uh, mentioned uh, mentioned it to your grandma. I sent her a letter. You know, uh, I ain't gonna get paid if, uh, if I'm if I'm not bringing her back and forth. You know, gotta make a living. Yeah, of course, but she's nice. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She's uh, she's a nice broad. Does she look like me at all? <laughs> ah. He kind of squints and looks at you. Kind of cocks his head a little bit. No, not really. Uh, uh, she's uh, she's tall like you are, but uh, but uh, yeah, no, no, maybe a little bit around the eyes. I don't know. Not really. Uh, her 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 skin ain't uh, ain't quite the same color as yours. Yeah, I think I got that from my dad. Ah, yeah. Is he a nice guy? I have no idea. I literally. Oh, shit. I, I honestly, I up until this point, I thought that my my family didn't want me, and and that I, yeah. I don't know. That doesn't sound like the lady I met. Well, that's nice. I hope so. What you about know, the we'll have to find her first. Well, uh. What about the rest of you? This this uh, this one's talking up a whole storm, but uh, the rest of you aren't saying very much. How about you? Uh, how about you, Sorry. big guy? And he uh, he looks over at Grimdor. Mm. What's your deal? I'm here for the ride. He likes Brad. I, yeah, I'll take you on a wild ride. Hey. I, I, <laughs> how do, physically? How does that even work? On the boat. Oh, what are you talking about? <laughs> right. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> My mistake. I mean, I mean, read I mean, the I, room. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, I I ain't saying no. <laughs> oh, I like this guy. Oh my god, I ship it. <laughs> <laughs> um, carry on. <laughs> uh, all right, well. Well, it seems like you guys are spilling your life stories. I, I don't know. Uh, no, how about that's you? just me. Oh, okay. Well, the rest of you doesn't want to shut up? That's fine. You can shut up. I have no stories. Cool. <laughs> all right, another round of drinks. Oh, that sounds cool to me. <clears throat> yep, I do have drinks. All right, I can get on board with that. And so you guys continue drinking through the afternoon. Is there anything else you want to talk to this uh, group about? I still want to keep up with Hazelwood as best I can. Okay, make another constitution <laughs> saving throw. Uh, that is a uh, 21. 21, yeah, you're you're starting to get the hang of this uh, this liquor thing. It's uh, new also, to you. Also, like, whatever but... food he's eating, and, like, however, like, whatever amount it is, I want to, like, mirror it exactly. Okay, yep. Yeah. Um, probably some meat pies uh, get ordered at some point, uh, so you guys are eating uh, meat pies, and it's it's going to be tough to keep up with him. He's, he's a big guy. He's eating quite a bit. Well, this um, is how you impress boys, right? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Uh, Nug, I believe you were drinking heavily. Yes, I okay. definitely am. Okay, you can do a constitution saving throw as well. Oh. While he does that, can I uh, talk to the frog again? <laughs> sure. Um, wh- what did you say the name of your ship was? I didn't say. Right. <laughs> Uh, 11. 11? <laughs> um, you've been drinking a lot more than than most of the rest. And um, this this dark, salty dog ale uh, is stronger than uh, than you would have originally uh, guessed. And, and you are you are feeling you're not like falling down drunk, but you are heavily tipsy at this point. All right. Nice. I continue so, drinking heavily. Okay. So what's your ship's name then? Oh, it's a it's a beautiful name. It's called Donovan's Bounty. Mm, what does Donovan? that stand for? 
Uh, so when Nug, when you say uh, who's Donovan, he like hops up out of his seat and onto your armor, and he's like sticking to your armor, and he points at your face and he says, "You don't ever ask about Donovan. Donovan's nobody to you. You got it? Whoa, super down. Hmm. Okay." All right, all right. Just, it's a beautiful name for a ship. But you don't ever ask about Donovan. Well, like, and, why would and, you and, and Lawrence go And Lawrence goes, <laughs> I just look at him kind of weird, like, what the hell's wrong with this guy? Well, why would you name your ship after somebody if you didn't want people to ask about them? Because <coughs> it's, cause it's, it's the most weird. beautiful name there is. And that's all I'm going to say about it. I fully accept that. That's totally fine. Okay. Yeah, hey, there's, there's a lot worse names for ships. I think I, it's a great name. It's a beautiful name. You did a great job. I saw one down at the docks this morning. It's called the Ball Eater. <laughs> that's a pretty terrible name. I love that name. <laughs> that's, that was great. I mean, yeah. it's not as good as Donovan's Bounty. That's just yeah. like well, it's perfection. You, I'm you just really saying. nailed it. There's, there's worse names for a ship. So what kind of cargo yeah, do you, are. you yeah. take? Uh, you know, um, whatever jobs are available. Uh, so, uh, I, I try to try to keep it above board these days. Um, you know, passengers and, uh, you know, uh, I work out of Palma Flora a lot. And, uh, you know, it's... Uh, uh, they, the passengers, they like to go do... Uh, there's, there's, like, shark fishing... Uh, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of a little off-putting, but, uh, that's what they like to do. So, uh, you know, it pays the bills that they take them out and they, they fish for these sharks and then they bring them in and they, they, uh, get their portrait painted with them and, uh, they, they, I don't know, they eat a little bit of it, but most of it, it just goes to waste. It's, it's, it's kind of terrible actually, but really hey, what are you gonna, yeah, well, what are you going to do? You gotta, you gotta pay the bills somehow and, uh, you know, where. We're trying to be uh, upright citizens here, and uh, yeah, you can know, I inside check it's, that. Yeah, I bet. I want to. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I just want to know if he's if he's he really is trying to be. Uh, Fourteen. Yeah, I mean, he seems sincere enough. Like, uh, like he's doing his best, but uh, you know, he, you know, you. You don't look too closely at some jobs uh, when you're when you're trying to pay the bills, but he's doing the best he can. So, when you take us there, what trouble might follow you? Well, uh, well, like I say, uh, just you know, keep keep your eyes and ears open for uh, for three earrings. Uh, um, there's uh, there's some some guys out in the water that that don't really like the the shark hunting. Uh, which, you know, as I say, I can't blame them, but uh, they might know that uh, I take people out to do that from time to time. And, uh, I don't know, there's, you know, if you've ever been on a boat, there's there's some, some creatures in the ocean. Some of them are dangerous, some of them are tasty, some of them are both. I like you. I like me too. <laughs> Good. I think this is going to be really fun. We got some new cool people for the group, and everybody's going to have a good time, and we're all going to be the bestest friends ever. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure, lady. Uh, whatever you say. <laughs> all, all right. right. Uh, you guys uh, ready to, to well, head out for the night? We'll uh, we'll get some sleep and, and ship off in the morning. I believe that sounds great to me. Um, yeah, that's a great. Russell, how are you how are you feeling over there? I feel great. Why would I feel great? I feel great. This is great. So Everything everybody, great. everybody that's been drinking, can you make one last Constitution saving throw? I got thirteen. A thirteen. A twenty. Oh All right. shit! <laughs> Roll six. Oh shit! <laughs> I it's rolled a three. Oh my god. Okay, so yeah, uh, Nug and uh, Sven's been kind of slowly 
keeping keeping a steady uh, pace all night. Not drinking heavily, but just slowly, you know, keeping keeping a nice uh, drink uh, pace going. Uh, but but Nug and Myrtle, it's kind of caught up with you at this point. So yeah, uh, Grimdor, you would probably need uh, to be the one to to help uh, Nug along. Do I get poisoned? Like, am I alcohol poisoned, basically? Uh, well, yeah. I mean, you would have disadvantage on ability checks uh, until you sober up. So, out of curiosity, is it possible to, like, cleanse my poison <laughs> on uh, myself? That's an ability you have, sure, yeah. Well, if lay on hands, I could use five. Uh, I think it's five points, right? A, yep. a disease or poison. Yeah, sure you effect. could. Yep. <laughs> I could, like, undrunkify myself. Sure, so... So you uh, you get up to uh, to leave at the end of the night, and it's one of those things where you've been sitting drinking for a long time, and you don't realize quite how drunk you are. And as soon as you stand <laughs> up, it kind of hits you. Uh, and when that happens, you kind of stumble, and, and you're a Ooh, big guy big with big arbor, and yeah, kind of knocks the table, and uh, all the glasses uh, fall over on its side, and oh, you kind of brace yourself for a second and realize that just how drunk you are. And uh, and put your hand uh, to your uh, to your chest and, uh, and and cast lay on hands and just kind of uh, do a long blink with your eyes and all right let's go. Woo! Myrtle's just kind of like sitting in the chair, just like you know that really just kind of happy glazed eye look that you get where you're like not so drunk that you're miserable but you're drunk enough where you're like completely out of it you're just kind of in that bubble of just like ah. yeah that one oh. <laughs> <laughs> mm, all right and uh get on my back uh, no i'm good i'm just gonna I'm, i just i'm just gonna as he out. as he's I'm as he's getting up from any. the t- without saying a word <laughs> as he's getting up from the table uh hazelwood scoops you up and uh, and just starts carrying you. I'm going to, uh, seeing this, I'm going to um, try and cast with my uh, uh, my wizard uh, item. Uh, try and cast Dancing Lights uh, in front of Muttle's face. That's not very nice. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, make, uh, make, I, I think it's a DC 13 Arcana. That's funny. 12, 12 Arcana. 12? Okay. For me, yeah, yeah. Oh, just yeah, beat it. Wow. yeah. So, uh, so just as you uh, get scooped up uh, by Hazelwood, and you're kind of looking up, and you all you see is uh, Hazelwood's face from below, and the ceiling of the uh, of the tavern. Uh, you see the the, the giant mermaid uh, masthead up there, and then all of a sudden, these three dancing lights just start flying around in, oh in front God. of your, your eyes. It is so pretty. I just like start like grasping at them. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I, I will move them in Everything a way that's is... kind of like stars around your head. Just Everything like kind of so it's, it's pretty. I thought you would enjoy that. I wanted to have some fun. Is this what is this what drinking drinking is? I like it. It's so pretty and, and sparkly. No, I, I made those but uh it is a lot more fun when you are under an influence, that's for sure. So pretty. All right. And uh, as you guys uh, leave the, the salty sea dog on your way down to Donovan's Bounty, uh, that's where we're going to end it tonight. Oh, nice. my God. Is it All already right. that time? Jesus it's a quarter yeah. to 11. Wow. That was yeah. quick. Yeah. All right, guys. Great session, guys. That was a great fun. session. Come on, Tide. <laughs> Send us out, buddy. All right. Thank you for listening to another episode of Dungeons, Dragons, and Dice. Okay, bye. 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 Bye.